Hello, I'm Reverend Louis Pell, also Brother Louis. I've been working for the past 15 years with homeless and runaway kids as a pastoral minister in New York City. And those youth have taught me some good ways to how to put words together in ways that help me to express my feelings about what's happening out there and what we can do about it and how I relate to this green growing movement too that means so much to me. So I dedicate these words called Green Rhyme for Our Times to those kids and to the possible dissolution of the obscene fact that almost one third of our urban youths live at or below the poverty level. Okay, so when I ran for Congress for the Bergen County Greens in New Jersey in 2000, I talked a lot about that. And I talked about even way back when Thomas Jefferson warned us about the excesses of the moneyed interests. Okay, so I begin, however, even so, we have to focus positive, we have to look on all the good things that have been done in history. We have to focus on what we are doing, what we can do. So I begin a little patriotically because I still love America. I love the land, the wilderness, the beauty of our land. And I love the progressive spirit that helped bring this country into being, that is still alive and well all over this country and all over the world, really, because we're part of what today, to me, is the greatest superpower in the world today, the worldwide populist revolution, I call it levolution, that is waking up all over the planet to what is wrong and what we can do about it, okay? So let's begin a little patriotically. Oh, say, can you see what I see? Hey, they're turning our democracy into a plutocracy. Plutocracy, sixth grade history, government of the few, by the few, for the few, not for me and you, lest you be one of the few. What are we going to do? We're going to organize, profitize, tell it like it is, proselytize, each one, reach one, organize, bring the love down from the skies. What I'm going to do? I'm going to go green, struggle green, vote green, because what they're doing is obscene. Corporation, competition, consumer-itis, consumer-itis, it's the disease of our land, infects every woman, every child, every man with its money mania, hello, money mania, keeps it all a-going, puts profits over principles, it's an ill wind a-blowing, 87% of the profits in 6% of the people, hey, let's hear from Paul Revere, hang a light in the steeple, corporate conglomo monsters coming, corporate conglomo monsters, yo, corporate conglomo monsters here, Tax dodges, bailouts, corporate welfare. Meanwhile, who's faring well in our urban ghetto hells? Who's faring well in their slash and burn hells? Who's faring well in their incarceration hells? Tax dodges, bailouts, corporate welfare, enough is enough. Hey, are we the people who shook off King George and his cronies? And now we got another George, a wannabe wannabe king, doing his deep pockets hyper greed all for me and my cronies thing. I say, are we the people who shook off King George and his cronies, going to jive to these jackals who's only got his money? That Wall Street tiger, we tried to ride it. It's been our power animal. Yo, we've ended up inside it. Enough is enough. Let's take control of our lives. Say no to their lies. Stop buying Monster's message. The one who makes it buys. And one, buy less. Two, give more. Three, get active in the world around us. Yeah, let's get active in the world around us. How else unloose these chains that surround us? Build true community. There's still strength in numbers. Listen to the sound of community. Can you hear the distant thunder? And hey, Though our numbers appear to be few, check it out. What did Jesus do with only 12 of me and you? That's deep. Let's don't sleep. Eyes open wide. Our work is now soul size. Soul connects us to the whole. This one thing I know, mighty oaks from little acorns do grow. This one thing I know, mighty oaks from little acorns do grow. And while we're on the subjects, a subject of numbers, Margaret Mead, a real breakthrough thinker for our times, quote, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. In fact, you know it, it's the only thing that ever does. So I want to end with my man Mahatma Gandhi, shook off an entire empire with the people's fire. Mahatma Gandhi, we must each be the change we wish to see. It begins with you and me. The key, trickle up, 
democracy. It begins with you and me. Oh, say, can we see what I see? One rainbow family living in sweet harmony. Oh, say, can we be what we see? One rainbow family living in sweet harmony. It begins with you and me. This one thing I'm knowing, truth is a-flowing. We're green and growing. So I'll see you sooner rather than later, I hope, at the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue in the greenhouse. Better yet, the rainbow house. This one thing I'm knowing, truth is a-flowing. We're green and growing.